Uh, but first, we start with some of the news of yesterday, which I think it doesn't like knock me over, but for our fans and our listeners, that there are some important clarifications because the headline, Michigan reaches settlement with NCAA. It's like, oh, okay, so so is this is this the end of it? No. Michigan reaches settlement with NCAA on case number one. This is the cheeseburger. This is not the sign stealing, okay? The recruiting violations, we haven't even gotten into the Connor Stallions situation. Uh, the punishments include three years probation, uh, a fine, recruiting restrictions, and a one-year show cause for former coaches involved with the violations. You dig into the case a little bit, you find that you know they've identified five former coaches you know, who, who are receiving uh, some of these punishments and are tied to this. One of them uh, who has not been named in the official documentation did not uh, participate. Um, uh, Danny Cannell, you got any hot guesses on which former Michigan coach maybe did not cooperate or participate with the agreements and the conclusions and the resolutions of this first uh, NCAA case for Michigan? I'm going to go out on a limb and say maybe he was unreachable because he's in an RV by the beach out in Los Angeles. I mean, is that where Harbaugh's, is he doing this? Oh, video? yeah. The Chargers put out a phenomenal video. He's living in an RV at an RV park in Huntington Beach. Like, it is oceanfront. And Greg Roman, his coordinator, is, like, right next to him in another one. And they did a little walkthrough. They're both their RVs. I mean, he's living his best life. You could just say, like, out of, you know, out of pocket. Just like, <laughs> I'm just... NCAA I'm just can't reach me. Yeah. You know, like, so he's exactly. skipped town. He's in an RV. Um, you know, so in terms of the uh, the the Michigan case altogether, um, Michigan, Tom, Michigan should feel like it, it's at least putting it, this part of it behind it, right? Well, first of all, Danny, that's all you can afford on his salary in, in Southern California is that, oh, is that RV. Exactly. Um, what, what was the question again? <laughs> Should all right, Is Michigan moving ahead just like, okay, fine, we're yeah. good, we're done. Like there's there's not a, too much extra concern that you're going to have to worry with um, from yeah. a, the first case here. Yeah, I, I think this bout just wraps that up. Like I, I, I think Harbaugh leaving and a lot of the coaches who were involved in all that stuff not being there anymore. I mean, we've seen that in recent years where the NCAA is not, or at least they've tried to take the approach where the punishments aren't as punitive on the people that are there now compared mm -hmm. to who was there when they when they committed the quote unquote crimes. So I, I do think that as far as the, you know, the cheeseburger angle of the recruiting violations of, of having people on campus when they weren't supposed to be, I think this one is over. What what will happen from the sign stealing? There's still going to be more to come, but also I I expect the punishment for the sign stealing stuff to be very similar to what the punishment for this was where Jim Harbaugh and some coaches who are no longer there are going to get show causes and there might be like a slightly punitive like you know like five scholarships off or something i don't know and that'll come in 2027 right i mean yeah. four years from when it happened it probably I mean, that's what this is right i mean wasn't this 2020 or 2021 yeah yeah years removed yeah pa pandemic recruiting restrictions uh sharon moore the head coach for michigan already served uh, a self-imposed suspension for these violations and his relationship with it um, you know, Michigan Athletic Director Ward Emanuel says no current staff members will face any game restrictions. You know, in the recruiting restrictions, there are, you know, some you know visit days and, and some things that you can get hit for here and there. Um, but it does seem uh, a little bit like, you know, Michigan is, is plowing ahead, feeling like this part of the NCAA investigation is, uh, is, is behind them. But anything stand out about this to you? I've got one more piece on this that was a little interesting, but it's not totally related to this part of the investigation. I, I really haven't heard anybody talk about this. Like I got no text about this. I actually was like so focused on the transfer portal stuff that I didn't look at the top of the rundown today. I didn't read the stories about it. So I just, I try not to comment on stuff that I don't know a damn thing about. And I just, I think this is probably a nothing burger based on having like no, like nobody's talking about this. But yeah. you're an excellent sports media member. Sports media talks about things they know nothing about all the time. <laughs> I, I like being right, man. Right. Like, like, <laughs> like they, they don't they don't have me on HQ to talk NBA. You know, I I, just, I don't know. I don't want to I don't want to waste the audience's time because I have not done any research on this topic. Yeah, it just kind of speak to like in the overall impact of this story is 
You know, I, I got home yesterday. I checked my emails and there's like a statement from Ward Manual in there, like a press release. I was like, what the hell is this even about? Like I had, you know, I, I hadn't heard that this had even come down. Nobody, nobody from HQ texted me asking me if I want to go on and talk about it. None of that stuff. So this is just something that it's like, okay, yeah, it, the world has completely moved on now that Harbaugh is no longer in Ann Arbor. Right, exactly. So again, I think the clarifications for our audience is number one, this is not the sign stealing. We still have to do that in the future. Mm -hmm. We'll see what that leads to. This is the cheeseburger, and and we're moving beyond it. But the, cheeseburgers in paradise. Um, uh, and by the way, uh, Dennis jumped on the uh, on the, he 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 was carrying the flag for the one p.m. HQ hit. So he 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 ran so that we didn't have to. Perfect. On it. I was out in about the fourth hole yesterday. <laughs> Same. <laughs> that was great. Same. <laughs> but the but the Dodd father has some reporting tied to Michigan that came in late last night that is a little bit interesting. Uh, this from Dennis Dodd available on CBSSports.com. The NCAA threatened to suspend. Michigan coach Jim Harbaugh last fall, if his attorney did not halt satirical social media comments of the association's ongoing investigation into Wolverines football. Now, you'll remember Tom Mars was popping off on Twitter. We're talking cookie monster memes. We're talking like big block quotes uh, going out there, just going after the NCAA. So the NCAA sent a, quote, letter of admin if you're admonishing somebody's admonition, admonition. admonition yes, uh, to Tom Mars uh, from the uh, current NCAA Committee on Infraction Chair Dave Roberts saying that if Mars did not halt his post criticizing the NCAA's investigative process, the COI will consider appropriate penalties, including immediate suspension of your client. Guess what? Tom Mars kept posting and they did nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they did. <laughs> Like I, I, Danny, I, I don't, I, I love this story because it just brings to light. It's like, okay, so you, how, how, how much power do you have? Because it seems as though, and I'm not an expert in the bylaws. It seems as though this is definitely stepping outside of the due process and trying to, you know, come at somebody that you're investigating. And Tom Mars called their bluff. Totally. No one, no one respects them. It's got, I mean, it, and it's, I think it's been going on for a few years. It's just, way more blatant now where it was like go ahead what are you gonna do it's incredible um so yeah no no suspension from the ncaa remember the suspension at the end of the season tied to the sign stealing scandal was actually a big 10 suspension so ncaa has yet to levy any penalties and despite the ncaa uh reported according to our own dennis dodd uh, threatening the lawyer to stop posting memes about how they can't do anything. Um, no, no, no immediate punishment.